What's going on guys? All right, so I've got a Lexus here all the way from New York and uh, we're wrapping it in chrome. So told you that was coming up. It's a fun one, it's an uh, RC 300, kind of like the RCF as far as like body styling goes. RCF a little bit more extravagant still, but anyways, it's pretty extravagant as far as wrapping this car in chrome goes. So it's gonna be, it has its challenges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a couple of things. I'm going to go over here with you uh, and what those challenges are along the way uh, and what we're doing uh, with this vehicle. So some of it's going in rose gold chrome, most of it actually. Uh, there are some gloss black accents. Uh, I think the mirrors, it's all written down. The mirrors, the roof for sure. And that's about it for gloss black. We're doing a chrome trim delete. So front chrome trim section right there on the front bumper uh, and around the windows and anything else i think that's about it as far as like oh yeah and a couple of interior pieces in carbon fiber so we're gonna get to it uh, i'm gonna walk around the car with you right now and show you a couple of things so let's pop the camera off so what i want to do is i want to show you like what we're going to be doing here with the front bumper so this front bumper is actually not as bad as you think it might be it is extravagant um, I'm probably going to have to do some kind of an inlay like right here because I don't think I can stretch it. There's going to for sure be an inlay right here all the way up to the top here. But otherwise, it's mainly going to be one piece all the way through. Uh, it's, it's actually not a full bumper wrap. As you can see, it, it stops right there at the bottom. So right about here. And it kind of just trails off. So, and again, it's broken off at the top too. So really not that bad. Uh, what we want to talk about here also is the drip sill. So there isn't even a trim piece right here. What we have to do is we have to lay knifeless tape in this area. And I get a lot of you asking questions about how to do a uh, roof wrap when you don't have that trim there. Well, this is how you're, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Basically, even if you don't have a hard, really hard body line like this, you're going to make your own body line like this when you don't have that really hard edge. But we have a really hard edge on this one. But again, there is no actual drip sill drip sill trim to cover that up afterwards. Now, if you check out one part here, we're gonna check out the uh, sunroof. It actually pops out and back, which is super annoying actually. So I'm gonna take the shark fin antenna off. The fact that it does this means that we can't actually uh, open it up and wrap with the sunroof open. So not like most cars. So what we have to do is actually mask off the outer edge, trim off some vinyl, and then pop the sunroof up very carefully and tuck in the rest of the film. I'll show you how to do that. It's gonna be an interesting roof wrap, along with the uh, drip sill trim there. Door handles are super easy. The mirrors won't be hard. The rear bumper's gonna be a little bit challenging. The, uh, I gotta pop those guys out right there, so I'm probably gonna remove the whole rear bumper, and I'll just take out the reflectors, especially when we're doing chrome. When we're doing chrome, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're moving as many things out of the way as possible. It's gonna make your job a lot easier uh, even when it comes to just like wrapping a car with regular film, it's going to be a lot easier just removing as much as you can. Uh, spoiler is a bit of a pain to take off. It has a lot of two-sided tape. It has also four screws. Uh, so I'm in the process of removing the two-sided tape here. Just a little bit more to go. Obviously, you can see where I removed the badging, the RC300 all-wheel drive, and then the Lexus on that side right there. This one stays here. This is like a, a protective PPF right here. So that's going to stay there. I've got to remove the uh, Lexus emblem as well. Tail lights come off super easy. You guys, if you have a Japanese car, you're in luck because they're super easy to take apart. There's actually nothing really that hard to take apart on this car. Window trims all come off easily. Door handles come off easily. Mirrors come off easily. The gas cap comes off super easy. It's literally like, you don't even need a screwdriver to pop that thing off. Um, yeah, everything comes off pretty easily. So I'm gonna remove the front bumper. We're gonna wrap the hood because what would a wrap series be without a hood wrap? You know I gotta do it. And uh, that's about it. So I'll do the roof, I'll do the front bumper and the rear bumper when, we, when it comes to wrapping them. I'll do the hood and maybe the door handles in case you're interested. As far as the uh, trunk goes, because it has a spoiler, what you want to do is we're gonna, we're gonna do a, a seam right here along the edge. And so the spoiler is gonna actually hide it really well. It, the spoiler only has a bit of this uncovered right here at the very edge. But again, the chrome will actually hide the seam really, really, really well. So even if I didn't have a spoiler on here, I would be doing I would be doing a seam here with chrome. So just so you know that. The side skirts aren't too bad. They're, they're not too extravagant, done worse. 
and yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a bad car to wrap, so it came apart, came apart pretty easily. Uh, like I said, a couple of interesting parts like the sunroof, which is a bit different than most, so that will be a challenge to uh, work around the sunroof as it pops out like that. Uh, so if you do have one of those sunroofs, this will be a great video for you. I actually have a video way, 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 way back, like four years ago, where I, I did a sunroof like this on a car uh, with a carbon fiber roof wrap. So if you go way back in my movies or my videos, you'll see that there. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to see what this looks like, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you guys like the car, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, as always, I will post a link to all the tools that I use in the description below. That way you can find everything you need for the most part, everything you need to get started on wrapping your own car yourself. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Take care.